and welcome to today's vlog. We are getting our couch delivered today for the basement, which I am so excited about. It's a six penny couch, which is what we have in our in our St. George house and it is the best. So I'm like counting down the minutes until they call me and say they're on their way. But basement is about done. We're gonna give you guys like a full walkthrough and tour when it's all the way finished, which I think should be next week. There's just like a couple little details. Should we get that rug out right now? Can we go grab it? Where's it gonna go? Okay, so I got a rug. I was gonna put it in our guest room, so I asked for an eight by 10 rug, but I should have asked for Her favorite thing to do is come down here and literally just scream because it's so echoey. But anyways, I should have asked for, I forget what size it is. I think it's like 10 by 14 because this area that's like the living room area is so big. So since the couch is getting delivered today, I think I want to put the eight by 10 rug in here just until we get a bigger one, even though we'll have to like move it. And I also was thinking of getting the same rug. That's the eight by 10 in the bigger size to put it in here. So I do want to open it and like see if we would like that for the living room. Parker's gonna grab that. Do you think you can do it by yourself or do you need help? It's like wrapped up, it's a new one. It's a little plastic, right? Yeah, and it's like a white, like really soft one. So yeah, the couch is gonna go here. So this layout down here, I don't know exactly how it was designed to be for like a living room, but we have the ping pong table here. We had a couch over here and then we just put like paper over this window and Parker hung a projector on top of it. And then we had our couch like right here, which I think is what we're planning on doing again. They wired everything for a projector. And the couch is like huge. It's like borderline gonna be too big for down here, but it's one that I've wanted for so long. So I'm really excited about it. But yeah, so I think that's what we're gonna do again. So we're just gonna literally put like craft brown paper on that window and then a projector screen above it. So kind of a funky setup because obviously normally you don't like cover up a window to put your TV there. We could have put the couch like this way. It's a U shape. So it could have gone like here and then we could have had like a little TV stand here and a TV. But again, Parker wanted the projector, so. Hi. Can you show me your playroom? Oh my goodness. Coco, come show me your playroom, baby. Yeah, I think I can come upstairs. This will be fun with the mail drop. Yeah. Oh, she put her ball pit right there. Oh, but this is Coco's little playroom. Whoa. <laughs> Crazy, can you turn on the light? Do you remember how? Can you turn on the light? Mom will do it. Here's a little light switch in here. That's just her height, so she loves it. Looking back, I wish we would have done carpet in here just because this is like a really weird shape. I can't really, I mean, I could maybe find a rug to put in here, but I'm glad we did wood everywhere else because it looks so nice, but kind of wish we had done carpet just in like this little area. Anyways, we moved her ball pit in here and then I'm gonna put some other toys and stuff in here. You have way too many toys and her playroom is already like way too full. Anyways, she has this super cute little door and then let's see this rug. Here it is, it's a white, comfy, fuzzy rug. So hopefully we can get this in. I think it's 10 by 14, maybe it's nine by 12, but we need to turn it the other way. And then we'll just keep it here like temporarily until we get a new one. Cause I'd rather have one in here than the guest room for a minute. Yeah. I think the couch literally is gonna be like pretty much touching the wall, come across here and then it like barely was gonna fit in here, but. So. I like how it's gonna kind of section it off though. Cause it all is just one open room. Yeah. I feel like it's gonna close this off into its own little like room. Right? Yeah, and then I'll we'll probably put the ping, ping pong table back in the center. We need this treadmill to be moved. They think we're gonna have to take it apart to move it cause it's like so giant, but then we have another couch that can go like in this corner. But yeah, it's looking good. We're just waiting on the couch. Once felt I'm done with the defense. Throw back and climb over your fence. Hide to show, show you that I was a mess. So you were shrugging your shoulders and closed off. That's what I told so they just got it all moved in. It's not exactly in the right spot yet because we just have them put it like kind of where it's gonna go, but we need to get all the cushions on and then again, we'll have a bigger rug. But yeah, I'm so excited. We got, so this is the Neva. I guess I'll explain more when it's like actually put together, but this is the Neva U-shape couch and we did the corn silk fabric. I think it's like washed linen or something, but super cute and I'm excited to get it like actually finished. That's what I told you soon enough. Everything started to change Cause there's no going back, no going back There's no going back to your own life Living in the past, 
All right, we got it all set up. The rug is not even under your butt. It's okay. Like I said, I think we're gonna get a new one. It'll be way too hard. You have to lift up like the whole thing. But it looks so good. It like kind of lines up with this wall right here. So we have it kind of far back just so that we have a walkway. But we'll have the projector there. And I feel like when we had the other couch in here, it wasn't even like that much closer. So I don't really think it's too far. But this is the best. They have a ton of different fabrics, ton of different colors. They have different styles of couches. And I really like this more than our upstairs couch. Yeah. Which was like twice the price. And so. we have this one in our St. George place and we love it. Yeah, but we have a different shape. It's shaped like yeah. an L. So this will be fun to have like an all new, try something new. Yeah, so I'll link this exact one that we got down below, but we love it. Something that I just realized, and I can't believe we made this mistake again. We don't have blinds. And these windows have been done for like a long time. Like we have the measurements and so I should have ordered them forever ago. And we've learned this the hard way with like all the houses that we've had because you like get moved in and don't think about it. And then you're like, wait, Literally, we don't have blinds. So we're gonna order those and measure for them and order them today. But every time we show the basement, I get so many questions from people asking how our basement has windows. I think it's mostly from people that like are not from America, but this is the front of the house. So as you can see, there's no windows over here, but they dug a big hole and there's window wells outside. Like the backyard is above here, like ground level. So, yeah, there's windows, so that's how. So that's nice, because you get like natural light in here and it's not super dark, but can't believe we didn't think to order blinds. I don't know what we were thinking. Okay, so we decided to get out of the house. I don't think I've left the house for probably a week. Yeah, I got, so I went to uh, Texas. My, my friend moved to Texas a while ago. I went and visited him, saw his house. He built a house. This house is nice. I came back and I got in the car this morning and the seat is still in my position. <laughs> yeah, so that's I how I knew you didn't anywhere. go anywhere. I did not go anywhere. I haven't left the house. I don't know how long it's been. Not that long, but at least probably like five or six days. But we decided to come to TJ Maxx because in the gym, I want to see if we can find any like mirrors to put in there. I don't really want to spend a lot because I just don't want to. So TJ Maxx is always a good place to go for mirrors, but we were looking one for Luca and Gray a while ago. So my mom's been going to TJ Maxx like, often to look and she said their selection has not been good so it's not this specific tj maxx but i don't have high hopes we also, we also don't need anything super nice and like that fits I just, the vibe yeah. perfectly well it's gonna like, like it, it, it can, be somewhat but it can be, be decent. it can just be like if it just has a black frame and is like that's fine we're gonna see what they have we also are like two minutes from home so i didn't bring the diaper bag and coke's shoes are in there so we were gonna carry her anyways but she doesn't have shoes going in we see what we can find. Hey, baby! You have crazy hair! Are you at the store? I don't know if she's ever even been here. Yes, she has. You don't get out much, huh? You've been to this one. Okay, what do they have? Oh, wait, yeah, see, like, that would work. This black one? Yeah, I yeah, guess. Please. That's big enough. You get it? Or let's do, should we do this one? Okay, we're actually uh, gonna do... Oh, wait, but it has, like, that, which I don't like. Yeah. Wait, <laughs> Why would you not strap her in? No. She doesn't have shoes, she's not strapped in. Let's strap you in. That's not good. All right, we were in there for five minutes. Very short trip, but we got what we needed. I feel like that'll be perfect. It's funny that this is the exact mirror that I pictured in my head right before we walked in. And this is yeah. the one that I said before. <laughs> Just a black I know, frame, I didn't big really mirror, want a black that's all we need. It's okay. All right, let's get you in the car. That was fun, I had fun with you. All right, next order of business. I need your phone. Why? I need it. Because. No, you're gonna turn the red, <laughs> red, red receipts. Yes. Aspen turned my red receipts on a while ago, so only for could, me. Yeah, for you, so that you could see when I read them. Yeah, and then I noticed you but turned it off. But sometimes I like to just not read them. And no. Not back. No, give it to me so I can turn it no. on. Comment of the day: Do you have your red receipts on? I feel like that's just asking to like hurt people's feelings. Why? Like if someone has them on, like people who have them on all the time, oh, right. are just like weird to me because right. most of the time you don't like read a text and then reply right away because you're like right. busy or whatever. So why even have them on to let the person that you know you read it at one and then you didn't reply I feel reply like the lesson seven. of the day is to not have your feelings be hurt. If you text someone and you see that they read it and they don't text you back, screw that person. Who cares? Don't be mad that 
somebody didn't well, take no, them Well, no, it's just like, why do you even have them on? I know what you mean, but I'm just saying, I'm sure there are a lot of people. Like, I I have that feeling. There are times that I've texted people and it says red, and it takes like three hours for them to text me back. And in my head, I'm like, why aren't they texting me back? Like, what did I do? Did I do something to three offend hours, them? Three hours is kind of short. <laughs> maybe, uh, maybe a couple days, whatever. But I'm just saying, it's like, I just don't understand. you stress over the dumbest little things. Like, But I want to know when you read my messages. Yeah, well. I'll do it when you're sleeping. <laughs> what? It's all gone. Can you open packages with me? We stopped and got the mail. First package. Look, I got you new PJs. Yeah. New PJs. These are my favorite PJs for her. I just got her 12 to 18 month size, which is actually a little bit big. She's been wearing the... Oh my cute. She's been wearing the 12, wait, did I just say 12 to 18? I got her 18 to 24 and she's been wearing, they're a little bit big, she's been wearing the 12 to 18. Probably since she was like six, seven months old, they were like a little bit big obviously, but I think we got sent them and I just like put them on her and they were a little bit big, but they fit and they still fit her. So I just ordered from the new spring collection and got a few more. And then I actually also just ordered for this cute little swimsuit. Did I order two things? Just ordered her this so cute little swimsuit for the summer and this one, which is so freaking cute. What size did I get? I got one and a half to two years, which this looks kind of big. Is this gonna fit your body? That looks a little bit big. I hope it will fit you in the summer. Next, we got some cute little photo books and another one. And did I order another thing that I forgot about? I do not remember this one. Oh wait, I did. I did forget about this. I got her these pants. What is all this mail for you? You don't have any money. I got her these pants that are so cute. They were sold out of her size. So what size did I get? I think these. Okay, hold on, Luma, I'm coming. I think these might be like a three, but they're super thick for winter. So I got her these for next winter and I hope that they fit. If not, she can wear them the winter after when she's actually three. <gasps> Is that you? Yeah, because they're a little bit big right now, but I didn't want them to like sell out and never be available again because they're so cute and they match the pants that I always wear. They look exactly like the pants I always wear. So I got her these even though they're way too big, but she does have a bin of clothes that's like for future sizes. So I'll add it to that and you can wear it when you're ready. Are you looking at pictures? Is that you and your mommy? You're the cutest. Oh, wow, these ones are cool. Mm -hmm. Dude, I can't get much speed. I'm going mm -hmm. too big for these things, I guess. They're not fast. All right. We got the mirror in here and it's perfect. Plenty big for you to be able to see whatever you you're doing. I'm just leaning it right there, right? Yeah, I don't think we need I mean, it's we not. We won't be able to hang it. Yeah, it's too tall. Yeah, I like that. It'll right be good. Here. Do you like it? I'll be able to look at myself. We should mount it. <laughs> we'll mount it to the wall, though. Yeah. And then we'll have TV over here in the corner. Right the corner. Right here. Probably a little like workout stuff right here. I want to keep most of it in the closet. Oh, yeah. We need to get little like storage for in there and yeah. then yeah, we'll see. Because this room's really not very big. Like it's fine. But it'll be a great little gym for now. Yeah. And that's all for today's video. So we hope that you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to check out Six Penny down below. We are so pumped about our new, oh, that's super bright. We're excited to make a bunch of new memories down here. So once again, that link is in the description. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you thumbs up, subscribe, and we will see you in our next video. Bye. Bye. Bye.